Okay, now we're going to show you a, a great app called Think Free Office, uh, and it comes pre-installed on your Galaxy Tab, so you don't need to go and install it from the Android market. It's it's already there when you power your tab up, and it's great for creating documents, presentations, and spreadsheets that you can work on on your tab and then upload to a blog. So I've just searched for it in our apps menu. Now the first time you launch Think Free Office. It asks you to accept some terms and conditions and just to have it installed for the first time. Now you only have to do that once uh, and there's about three or four buttons that you need to press. Once you've done that, it will bring you to this home screen and it just gives you an introduction to Think Free Office and tells you what all the different buttons are across the top here. We've got, we've got four different options. Uh, once you start using Think Free Office, you can look at your recent documents quite quickly. And you've also got a My Documents here as well, which I'm going to click on. And this shows you all the folders that are on your tab. And if I go all the way to the bottom, you can see uh, we've got some documents that are already on here. So as you can see, it just puts them in just very much like what Word does on your, on your computer. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new uh, document, but I'm going to turn my tablet portrait because uh, it's a lot easier to use in this mode. Um, to create a new document, all you do is you hit the menu button at the bottom and it brings up this panel and I'm going to hit new. And it brings up this uh, little pop-up that asks you what type of document you want to create. So we've got a, a normal Word document, a spreadsheet, a presentation, or you can actually create some folders. So if you want to be super organised and have different uh, subjects that you're doing, you can create different folders in here for all your different documents. So I'm going to create a new document, so I'm just going to click it once. Um, you have to name your document first before you can actually go in and edit it. So I'm just going to call it uh, just test document. And I'm going to hit OK. And then that's now going to go and create a blank document for me to type into. So this is what your basic word processing uh, app looks like in Think Free Office. Uh, so we've got plenty of white space to type. We've got a keyboard at the bottom. And we've got a little menu across the top. And I'm going to go through what they all do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type some text. And I'm just going to write a a letter. Uh, to me. Okay. Now if you notice as I'm typing, and we're using the gingerbread, gingerbread keyboard uh, that we actually recommend on our mobile frog site, uh, which is a great keyboard and as I'm typing you can see it's bringing up different suggestions of what it thinks I'm going to write. Uh, so it's very useful if, you t if, you're, kind of, if you're typing quite quickly uh, that you can just, I'm wanting to say how are you, so it's actually picked up different suggestions so I'm actually going to click on how and it means I don't have to type it. Uh, so that's, that's something useful and that's something that the, the pre-installed keyboard uh, with the Galaxy Tab doesn't come with. So you might want to look at the gingerbread keyboard because it's, it's very useful. Okay, so I've typed a bit of text in. That's very simple to do. Uh, I now want to save my document. Uh, and to do that, there's a little save icon at the top here and you just click it once and it just saves it and it tells you here across the bottom where it's saved it to. Uh, so it's just important it keep your documents saved regularly just in case you want to close your tab down or if your tab's about to run out of battery uh, you can save it quite regularly. The other options across the top here are uh, some text options so we can do different things with text. Uh, we've also got uh, an insert menu so we can insert some images uh, from the camera or from your gallery and a selection tool which is very useful uh, I'm going to go through that more now and then we can change some text. So if I put my cursor in the middle of this word how and use the selection tool, I actually want to select this word. And now you can see it's gone a, it's gone a different colour, it's gone blue to show that it's actually been selected. 
and then I'm going to use the text menu and I actually want to make that text bold so I'm going to choose the second one down and I'm going to hit bold and if I touch anywhere else on the screen you can see that now that's that's in bold whereas the rest of the text isn't if I go and click in the middle of my name and do exactly the same and I'm going to change the colour of my name so I'm going to click on the colour option at the bottom and this brings up a lot of different options of colour and I really like red so I'm going to make my name red so you can see you've got a bit of control over your text and you can make it slightly different you make it bigger as well next I want to do what I, what I want to do uh, is I want to bring my keyboard back up because it's disappeared. Now the way to do that is there's a little keyboard icon at the very far right. So if I push that once, it brings your keyboard back up so you can continue typing. Uh, and I'm going to finish my sentence off. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to insert a picture and I'm going to use the camera. I'm just going to turn my tab to the other side and I'm going to bring in our lovely model, Teddy. And I'm going to take a photograph of him. I'm slightly out of focus, but it will do. Uh, it's now given me two options, whether or not I want to save it or discard it. And I'll save it because I want to use it in my blog, uh, my Word document. You can then uh, scale it up and down. You can make it as big or as, or as small as, as you need to. If this padlock is checked, it will automatically it will automatically scale the height and the width to the right size so your picture won't look squashed if you dramatically reduce the width. Uh, it'll keep it all in, in a nice size. So I think that's, well, that's probably big enough so I'm going to hit OK. And then that's inserted that into the document. I'm going to save that. And there we are, a very simple Word document created in Think Free Office.